Hey guys, welcome to Farm Simulator 2015 on Sherwood Park Farm. It's taken me five tries to get this intro done. So long, that top bar has just finished scrolling. Why, hello guys. So what are we doing today, and what have we done over the weekend? Well, over the weekend, we got our black beard out with our Fent 1290 SXD. Coupled up to the bale stacker over here. So I was actually wondering why it's only got two stacks. I thought it was supposed to do four. I've been dumping it. Sure. I think it may have. Anyway, uh, we got that guy. I've been enjoying using that a lot, actually. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. We've also got some new machinery. Uh, obviously, we have finished this field, too. Uh, field one. Uh, we're going to be moving on to field three. Ow! It's hitting into me. We have some new tractors. Now you guys have never seen these tractors on a game series yet. You saw the Big Bird by Mad Fox. Here's the Case International that you guys saw the mod review on, and the uh, Tiger here. Schlanger, or I can never pronounce the name of it. Anyway, it's basically the case. Two variants of it. One can have duels, one cannot. So we got these. This we may upgrade to the other big bud he has, the 400 horse. Not too sure yet. But, uh, got a comment on the interior. On the, the big bud. It's definitely beautiful and so is both of these very nice tractors all right let's get let's get into our uh, chopper half oh, vent here it should be running very quiet machine i find she's a running I think up to speed. Right. Start pooping out the bales. So we have been going around the outsides, picking up the bales. The insides we left for the forage wagon. That oh wow, that completely. No, it isn't. My bad. Almost screwed up. You got to put it out. This, that's the one thing I do not like about this bale pack. Is that rear trailer, you have to do everything. And now, realism. Yep, that is realistic, correct. But it doesn't give you any warnings. Uh, I would love warnings. Real life, you would get screaming warnings at you. Uh, you have missed a hell of a lot on this just because you have got like a train going on back there, basically. So, your uh, people that freak out about missing bits, probably not the video for you, because we do have a lot. I do apologise for any background noise that you guys can probably hear in the background. I am uh, sat right next to a window pretty much, so, yep. And the windows are closed, believe it or not. So we'll make these bales up. We will probably use the semi-trailer to pick these up. So that's two stacks of four there as well. Interesting. And the rest, like I say, I've already I've used the lily forage wagon over here. Now, I've been dumping them. That amount, I swear I've been at a full stop. Strange to me. Because these will go four. I remember Banky telling me that. Is it three stacks of four? I 
honestly can't remember that, actually. We'll see if it tries to stack this or... I think I really enjoy using them. Now it's got to be full. So we'll let it dump. Yeah, strange. Hmm. Oh well. Need the HUD up for this. Table is being tilted. Please wait. We are waiting. And the bell. What the Ah, why are we completely off the stack? See, this is how I've been missing a lot, I think. And then you have to reset it manually to make it so the table works. I'm actually gonna just lift the header up and go back around. Because that is an insane amount of mess. Alright, we should be good again. So we did this over the weekend, uh, the next field I think we are going to go into, like I say, is field 3, and I need to sneeze or pause. Holy cow. It's been a while since I've sneezed on my video. Uh, so yeah, field 3, uh, field 17 we planted, and uh, field 15 we've got to harvest. That is going to be a slow drive. <laughs> now, there is one thing I will cut on this map, and that is pretty much most of the driving. Maybe we'll drive down there once, but that will be about it. Trust me, if we had like maybe hmm, sky crane, helicopter or Chinook, we'd be utilizing that to take us all the equipment down to field 15. Well, you guys would have laughed, but uh, over the weekend I had to fertilize field uh, 17 there. So I jumped in the helicopter, lowered the ramp, pulled the fertilizer, sprayer up the uh, Pantera and what are we at, what are we at, what are we at, I've not really been paying attention, two stacks, okay two more and then proceeded to ram the Pantera into the back end of the helicopter uh, as far as it would go it would only go about halfway on the ramp because of the sheer size of the Pantera then I flew it down with it hanging out the back of the helicopter down the field I uh, was at 17, just because I was not prepared to try the that far. So, uh, yeah, it worked well. But you guys would have laughed. For sure you guys would have laughed. Now, these little rows here we may bail up just to neaten it up, I guess. But yeah, these little spots. It, see, it's missing some there, too. It's, it's, it almost seems the head is, isn't quite wide enough. I'd like it so it would take up, take more in. And this will be the last stack, actually. I want to say it would be able to squeeze one more in maybe, but I don't want to try it, because I've seen it what happens on Mankey's stream and it's not fun. Really is not fun. Again, we're gonna miss some here. Oh, maybe not. Some stuff here I have to play like the old GTA style. Yeah, the hydraulics, so it must be stacking about. What do we got on there? One. Oh, let me go down and finish it off now. Yeah. 
see how many we get after this row. I do want to leave the rest and just put into storage. The uh, Lily forage wagon there, I can't remember where I found it. It was a pain in the ass to find. Uh, we had that on the dedicated server, so if any of you guys used to play on the dedicated server, you have got you guys have got that. That was the American Outback map. We had that on. And I got it just mainly because I always wanted a larger forage wagon that would suit a uh, map like that, and that holds over 100,000. Whether it's realistic, I truly don't know, but it was it just seemed to fit, and for a multiplayer scenario, it worked very well. And on this map, it kind of does. To me, I'm still confused where this map is set. Because it only come across to me what side of the road the cars are driving on. It's English signs, yet these fields are huge. So it's... Uh, Kind of like a confusing place to me. It's almost like it doesn't know what to be. Also, Stevie has updated his Paradise Hills map, I believe. I got updated this morning, so hopefully Sherwood should be too far around. I don't know if he's doing any more work to Sherwood. I would hope so. Definitely a nice map. Haven't played on Paradise Hills myself. Uh, Banky plays on it quite a bit, and uh, I think I kind of prefer this one to be honest, from what I've seen. That's the thing, it's all personal preference, but if it comes down to maps. See, I don't think it's going to reset, I think it's going to screw Oh no, it is. Sweet. Now, will it work how I want it to when I do this? Oh, cool, it does. So it's not a complete stack. That's fine. I really like that bale stacker. Looks very nice. Very nice indeed. Definitely may not be suited to everyone's needs, but... I like it. I like it a lot. I guess for the time being we'll just store it over here. We'll put it away later. Uh, I had this hooked up, our Oshkosh, but I thought, you know what, let's try and do something that maybe that people would see in the UK a lot. The reason I'm going to do it like this is, well, I've got the room around the yard to do it. Actually, where do we store this? Down here, I think. And that is we are going to uh, use the Unimog with the dolly. Not sure where I'm going to put the bales, mind you. But, yeah, we're going to uh, put them somewhere. Honestly, they'll probably get transported off camera down to the... I'll leave it on. Yeah, it did. Down to the, probably, dairy or something like that. Whether I'll do the animals per se on this map, I don't know. The animal fattening stuff that's unique, more than likely, more than anything. I want to do the unique machines then, just the run of your meal stuff that we see in all the maps, kind of thing. This should be a fun, to say the least, using this thing. Don't really use the dollies. Can't stand backing them up. But we'll give it a good go. We have put a load of straw already in the mix station there. Although we don't actually have any animals up here to use it on, so... Why well, it's there. But I filled it anyway. So off. Wow. I do. <laughs> this thing should cope with picking up the bells, no problem. I'm not sure how many bells in total we've actually got, either. I think it's a healthy amount, to say the least. Go 
for a bit of mud here, so it's gonna get dirty. Whoa! Okay, I'm gonna have to ghost ride it. Strange your doors were shut. Oh, well. You don't mind uh, coming back here? <laughs> that was close because this was going up to 50. Or I'll switch on the help. We'll don't need auto tractor. Square bells. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, load. So I don't know how many this truck is able to have on it at a time. Or this trailer. Of course, this is a semi trailer. Never actually used this one personally. Banky uses this one quite a bit of, I think. Got a horrible feeling. That's a that's a full load. Looking at the straps. Yeah, it is. That's what I feel. Oh, you can see how much straw we do have around here to pick up too. Probably do a little bit of that on camera. And then we'll come in with one of the big tractors, I'm hoping maybe this episode. And get one of them in the field going. I think it'll be pretty cool. Probably going to cause us issues there too. I don't know. All right, where to store these? What is our closest area? Oh, we've got the beef down there. Check out what's going on down there, maybe. Any room in the barn? Wow, even you! Oh dear. And that's not even my fault. That sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. Uh, luckily, we do have this guy. This is going to be the front loader that kind of goes a bit of everywhere. Oh, what I'm thinking if I use this tool, I'd be able to poke under it. So it seems like the gates don't recognize the fact there's a collision there. I uh, don't like that. Or oh, don't, li don't like the fact that you don't see the trailer. Yeah, that was an easy rescue. Could have gone a lot worse than it did. Yeah, strange, I've never seen that. This is why I really do enjoy... It's going to do it again, you watch. It's why I enjoy... Animated door trigger, because you don't have to put up with that crap. And basically, I'll stand here and let it drive forward. And catch up with it. 
Yeah, strange. I'm glad I've noticed that one. I'll right, take a quick tour down here. Got a helipad up there. It just happens to be perfectly placed too. Couldn't be better. I'm really not too sure why we've got the issues there. Up in that field, I was seeing some FPS issues too. Uh, no, some of you say it's Auto Tractor, while I have not seen any FPS issues with Auto Tractor since I haven't it installed. So I'm not sure what's causing you guys issues there, but it don't cause me any. Time's getting on in the day too in game, so it could be that. I don't know if I've got the Robinson Bale Fox for the front loader. We need to invest in some of them. Yeah, we've got a nice barn there that we can use perfect. So what I'll do is off camera I'll load them and stack them in using the front loader. I don't know if you guys would want to see that personally. If you guys do, let me know. And I'll kind of hold off doing it until this video goes live. Okay, so... What side is it dumping? Actually, that's perfect side. Bump. Cool. That gives us enough room to swing around in the barn here. We do have our uh, slurry tank there too. Need to put that away somewhere. The dairy too with the milk. You know what? We may have just put it down on the dairy. Huh? Good figure. Apparently the chickens are here too. Cool. So much on this map I've not really explored, guys. So yeah, go bear with me. Ooh, what's, where does this go? See, I was even going the wrong way. I have no idea where we're going. Oh, we're going to the spinnery by the looks of it. Okay, I can turn around up here. I'll uh, bring you guys along with the uh, investigations. Oh, honestly, we may even be able to cut through that field there. I may be able to actually do that. Would you look either? If that was fully loaded, that would give that a workout. Interesting loop, but it worked. Alright, like I said, on the same drive back, we will pause and we will be right back. Alright, back in the farmyard. Guess the diff locks can come off now, we'll leave four-wheel drive on there. The seed master, I wouldn't mind having a go at as well. There's so much stuff that I know so many of you have probably tried in the past that I want to give a go on stuff like this. Um, yeah, I know where there's some of the... Again, really... Give me my darn tractor back! <laughs> Jeez. Hmm. I may message Stevie saying, dude, put the animated door trigger on these gates, please. Wow. See, that's the thing. If it, gates, stuff like that, if I'm working in that field, I'm going to leave it open most of the time. Most of the time, I just leave them open. I'm, I'm not going to keep on closing them. It's only there to keep the honest people up. Something that Bill says, and he... It's true. Hopefully by this point I know if I'm going to be able to meet up with Bill this trip too. I really hope I do. I've not spoken too much to him in the last few months, to be honest. Life definitely gets in the way of a lot of things. 
more hidden than me on that one for sure, but hey, it's the way the cookie crumbles. So I hope this video wasn't too boring for you. It's just a bit of field work. I did keep this for you guys to watch, so... It's not go, go, go. It's... A little bit of slow pace stuff. We'll probably unload this off-camera next time. So I'll just leave this parked up in the field. And that should give us a full load. Oh, yep. We've got partial load there. So we'll just leave this parked up over here in the shade. Of course, we're going to have to fight with the gates again, too. Alrighty. That should be parked up. And to the challenger. Yep. Not done yet with straw, trust me. So this is our Lily Hago XR100D. The thing holds a lot. Like I said, I don't know if it's realistic the amount it holds, but... It was a good auger wagon for what we needed on the farm. Some dedicated server. So we'll do a couple of passes on this. There's been a lot of straw today. A lot of straw. I think it was the computer having a brain fart earlier with my FPS because I'm I'm now recording at 45 FPS. Far from the uh, 60. But close enough. There's a uh, on my desktop. I'm not used to recording that this speed. That's why I want to upgrade. It's not the cheap. The them of computers. What is hey? Alrighty. Next. So uh, what? Why I'm doing this is I'm skipping a road just so I'm not turning so tight. No other reason than because this thing does turn tight. It's kind of hard to keep up, but like right now I've locked it up again. Percent, Joe. Yeah, only twenty-one percent. Jeez. I can't remember. I don't think this tractor has really any IC control. Honestly, cannot remember. There's so much little clumps that I've missed. In hindsight, what I'm going to do next time is just winrow it. And then uh, do it like that, I think. But the chances are I won't be bailing too much on this map. It's probably going to be storage more than anything. Especially if I use this stuff for fuels. Uh, it does seem like I have to use it for fuel. I don't have to, but it's pretty much it's used for fuel. And that's the way we'll be doing it. We'll be picking it up in the wagon. As long as it's not too far away. If it's too far away, then we'll be using bales and. Not necessarily stacking them, but I don't know how we'll do it then. But it did take me quite a while to do all of this stuff in the field. Definitely took at least an hour real time, if not more. It's just tedious work, more than anything. Really look forward to getting one of the big tractors in here working away. Really think I'm going to swap out the Big Bud to the uh, 450, I think it is. Kind of looks more of a Big Bud that I know. I'm hoping Mad Fox does the 747 Big Bud. Like, that was the big one. That'd be really nice to see that. I don't know if you will, though. It's got the models for the rest of the Big Bud, so I'd be surprised if he doesn't, to be honest. Talented individual. 
I believe this will be the video bef that I released early hours of the morning before this one went up should be the last of the mod review videos I'll do uh, this week. The, he has released another tractor that I want to check out. It's a uh, Agroliner Dunsfer that's got like a uh, tank engine in pretty much. Like it looks like a V16. He does these tractors where they've been heavily customized too. That personally I wouldn't use on my farm but I want to give it a go and have a look at it too. See, look at all that I miss. Yeah, if I win ride this, there wouldn't be any of this issue. So it is completely my fault on this one. I know people's OCD will be just tripping out right now. And what I find even with this Challenger is once I have this machine not switched on, it seems to bog down a little bit. That I kind of find surprising. That is almost a wrap in this field, just have that tiny little bit over there to be. And then we'll call it up. I'm not going to go around chasing every tiny little friggin' piece in the field. <laughs> no way. And what we'll do then is uh, probably start the convoy heading down to field. Oh uh, wow. Well, 15. It's going to be a drive. Honestly, we'll probably end up loading the combine up onto the back of the truck and using the Unimog to transport the header down. As that can go at good speed, the transport truck or the Oshkosh can go at a good speed. And the uh, Tatra will use that to obviously haul the grain trailer down. So in theory we can actually do this quite easily moving around. We are losing light so we'll we'll go down there with that and then we'll we could actually even use the pickup truck too. And then we can transport our guys back too. Yeah we'll probably do that, use the pickup truck. And then we'll bring the uh, I can't remember what crop is down there actually. Well, let's have a look a little look see. Uh field fifteen we know it's ready, but what crop is it? Yeah, is that barley? No, it doesn't, I don't think it's sugar beets, I think it's barley. Okay, cool. This is our straw. They haven't yet got a screenshot, so I guess I'll be using this as a screenshot. Any false advertisement here, what we did today. That's for sure. Love the digital readout on this. Uh, it's certain maps, I get it. Like, maps that are fantasy maps. Of pure fun. I get it. But the maps that are like... Say, Thorntons, stuff like that, that's realism. Yeah, not so much. Oh, did you still have this one? My bad. Alrighty. And the Leiden is definitely causing my FPS to go all over the place. And typical cat ones out. So that is the end of th today's episode on Sherwood. Definitely enjoying this map. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as me as the cat is scratching at the door to get out. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.